रोड सेफ्टी वर्ल्ड सीरीज सीजन टू को पावर बाय पेटीएम से यूपीआई डिजिटल स्पॉन्सर फेयर प्ले न्यूज खेल जा एंड म्यूचुअल फंड सही है ग्रीन पार्क बांग्लादेश Need to bowl well to stay in this contest against the West Indies. And this is the first match of two today here in Campbell. Got Sri Lanka and Australia coming on later this evening, but Bangladesh that scorecard does not look good. 98 of 19.4 overs. And Gosh and Kapali looked in touch the other Sri Lankan batsmen I mean Bangladesh batsmen have to find some form for Bangladesh to be a threat to other teams in this tournament the West Indies they bowled extremely well Powell up front set the tone with three overs in the power play with an economy of 1.33 put the pressure on Bangladesh the spinners and the likes of Santoki capitalized on that and uh, the Bangladesh batsman trying to find options to score just fell to uh, all those bowlers they need to come back here the bangladesh legends and they need to pick up some early wickets because right now the west indies legends they have an easy target in front of them they require 99 and they stipulated 20 overs and they do have some powerful strikers in their ranks led by their captain kirk edwards Dwayne Smith a couple of years ago was quite active in IPL and uh, the other overseas franchise leagues with a target of 99 runs in their sights please welcome the opening batters of the West Indies legends now oh, the captain here from Bangladesh has to marshal his troops appropriately It'll be decisive Smith and Muhammad opening the batting. Wayne Smith, powerful hitter, good all-rounder. Played in a lot of T20 leagues around the globe. Has been quite successful as an opening batter for some of these IPL teams also. Mumbai Indians, Deccan Chargers would come open the innings put some brisk runs in the power play and that's what he would intend to do even in this game uh, his partner is dave mohammed right arm the left arm beg your pardon wrist spinner the right hand left hand combination here for west indies legends nabdur razak extremely economical and highly experienced has done some great work for um, the bangladesh side more so in white ball cricket and the reason why they have brought him on is uh, number 1 because of his experience and number 2 is the slowness of the surface get ready for the first ball with a new ball too ready. the slowness of the surface will just worry the batsman every now and then if he doesn't hit the seam it's the shiny side of the ball it skids on so creating that two pace effect well that looks quite authoritative from Dwayne Smith no siders finds the middle of the bat straight away should be an interesting battle on cards here Dwayne Smith versus the left arm spinner what kind of feel he has got he's got a long off and the mid on is inside the circle where will he go now Dwayne Smith short delivery and gets the boundary second delivery in this innings for Bangladesh legends and he smashes this one through covers superb shot from Dwayne Smith authoritative too short it's leaning on it or timing you can't bowl, bowl there to smith well the dancing girls they've been quiet this evening or this afternoon because Bangladesh weren't finding the boundaries and now they're in a rush to get on the stage because Smith has already found the boundary twice within three balls not bowling the right length as per the field set by the captain you have a long off and then you have a deep mid wicket and there's no field on the offside to cover that area and then you bowl two 
long hops to short deliveries. Uh, gives him gives Dwayne Smith enough time to um, play those two deliveries through cover. So back to back boundaries coming here for Dwayne Smith and for West Indies. Whoa! That's a better line, a little quicker. This generally happens when you're trying to be safe because you know Dwayne Smith's strength is to go over the top. It's much better from Abdul Razak. You try and play in safe, play safe and try and bowl short. But then in that process, you give so much of width and the, and the time for someone like Dwayne Smith to uh, play those two shots. Strong position from Dwayne Smith. Powerful hits. Not middle. Little bit. Little bit. So center, middle. Mohammed. Batting with Smith doing a Tunnel Narine roll. Bowling spin and then opening the batting. West Indies, nine for no loss. Well, it took Bangladesh 42 deliveries to find the boundary. The West Indies have found the boundary twice in the first three balls. And that's just how dominant the West Indies have been over Bangladesh today. Shadat, the captain, has decided that it's time for him to come on and lead his troops from the front. They need early wickets. One of the biggest factor, or maybe the big factor, in Bangladesh poor show, poor show in the batting today was um, the fact that they did not put enough runs on board. They had scored nine in the first five overs. And that gives a different picture altogether. Shahadat Hussain. Uh, retired from international cricket at a very young age, played his last international game at the age of 28. It was extremely useful during his career. And those were the, those were the days when uh, Bangladesh were not known to produce quicks. Things have changed now. They have some young and energetic pace bowlers. That's interesting. I was talking to a couple of fans yesterday and they were saying that India struggled to produce outright quicks. When I talk about outright quicks, that's the bowlers with extra pace. Bangladesh have struggled, uh, Afghanistan, but Pakistan were able to produce them because they play a bit more cement cricket. On the story that I got told the other day. Is that true? So if you're talking about tennis ball cricket and on cement surface surfaces, yes, um, the Pakistani youngsters, they do play a number of um, you know, local tournaments on such grounds and such surfaces. That really helps them to bowl fast because there's nothing much you can do on a track like this. But you know what, Brad, now I think in India is producing a number of young seam bowlers. And one of, one of them is someone like Umran Malik from Jammu and Kashmir. He bowls 150 clicks and that is so refreshing to see. And there are a number of under-19 youngsters who are coming up through the ranks who have done quite well for under-19 in the World Cup, previous um, World Cup, um, the under-19 World Cup that took place. And then even now in the India A squad, we've, there are several um, young seam bowlers um, who are exceptionally talented and bowl with, uh, with some speed. Is that because there's talent scouts out there picking these youngsters up earlier and keeping them in that, uh, that realm of fast bowling? 
Yeah, we do have a very strong professional coaching system now, which starts from the state level of the, um, the under-19 age group or the under-16 age group, and that helps to produce a lot of young pace bowlers, um, and the, all of them are tracked through the National Cricket Academy that is based out of Bangalore. And we have VVS Lakshman as head of um, the National Cricket Academy. Before Rahul Dravid took over as the head coach, he was heading the NCA. That's inside edge. You get a boundary here for uh, Dave Mohammed. Good line though from Shahadat. Trying to hit that one very hard. Dave Mohammed was lucky to get that inside edge and races to the boundary. was over pitched it was wide Muhammad just pinning the ears back wasn't where he wanted it go but it's still it's effective done the job but India have had quality fast bowlers that can move the ball around and uh, all of a sudden there's extra pace coming out Boomer just picked up from nowhere unbelievable story and that looks plum and Bangladesh is just not having a good time of it. Maybe drifting down the leg side and a good call by um, the main umpire there. Shahadat Hussain, the tall right arm pace bowler, was quite vociferous. Yes, that should have gone down the leg side. Bat, bat first and then hit the bat. But the umpire was quite convinced that it had gone down the leg side. They need wickets here. That's what they're striving for, the Bangladesh bowlers. Started off with Abdul Razak, who was expensive in the first over. And the captain, Shahad, had already conceded six. And the last ball coming up the second over. Good delivery. West Indies, 15 for no loss. cheerleaders didn't have much to dance for when Bangladesh were batting but uh, they've been quite busy since the West Indies have started their innings so boundary rider here for Dave uh, Mohammed one at shot at deep mid wicket and another one at long on well, you need to bowl the line where you force the batter to play in that area if um, the batter is trying to play a big shot yeah! much better loud appeal and given Absolutely right. Abdul Razak using experience to good effect here. Picks up the first wicket for Bangladesh. It's Dave Mohammed who has to go back. Have a closer look at this one. What a delivery. It's Plum on the back leg, right in front of middle. Mohammed wasn't arguing. His skates walking straight back to the pavilion. Bangladesh finally getting a bit of joy. Mohammed out for five, West Indies 15 for one.
Mohammed out, and another left-hander comes to the crease, Dia Noreen. This is up a little bit like Chanderpaul, the way that he taps the bat. Not so much the front on action, but just the high back lift with the tap on the ground. And the late back lift too. Mm, there is some similarity. Oh, I'd love to um, swap Chidnaran Chanderpaul's uh, stats, Brad, isn't it? <laughs> Such a fabulous player. Did some yeoman service for West Indies cricket for a number of years. And I believe now is the coach of the under-19 US side. Uh, which is great news for um, the youngsters of USA. To have that kind of experience as a coach will be extremely beneficial. Change in line, change in length really helped Abdul Razak to pick up the first wicket. Across the line, did not connect and plumb in front. Well, Deep Point has come into the ring rather than staying out. And that's the better line from Razak. 16 for 1, the West Indies. Build some pressure, bowl some effective or economical overs, and if they can get some more wickets in the power play, that really help them. Because the target is just 99 here for West Indies. The flurry of wickets will uh, pose a different kind of challenge for uh, the West Indian side. And that's what the Bangladesh legend, legend would be hoping for. Well, we've got a game coming up just after this one. Sri Lankan legends taking on the Australian legends. That's match three of the series. Double header today. So it's a long day. It's a long journey. So if you're driving around India and you're taking a, a, a long trip, just make sure you put your mobile away and you concentrate on the road. So turn your mobiles off and put your seatbelts on. Bangladesh building just a little less to be desired. They don't look as though they've looked after themselves as much as the West Indies have. Uh, they've just lost a little bit of athleticism. Well, they, they should be mindful of the fact that although this is a tournament for the legends, you are actually playing for your country. So you need to put in that effort in your preparation before you come to play in such a prestigious tournament. Hopefully, I think they spend some more time on the field and spend some more time during practice sessions they will become much better as the tournament progresses they'll have more opportunities uh, to perform in a better manner but today it is the batting that has um, been their downfall they were unable to um, stitch some valuable partnerships up the order and that is the reason why they folded for 98 Beautiful bowling there from Shadat. Ian Ryan, just the way that that back lift is, he just spends too much time tapping it down. There's the Australians. That's Shane Watson. He'll be captaining the team today. Callum, Callum Ferguson, Ben Dunk. Played a lot of T20 cricket around the world. There's Nathan Reardon. Somewhere around there, we'll see Brett Lee as well. That's a smashing shot from Dia Narayan. He had the back lift up earlier then, and that created the opportunity to just power it through the covers. He needed power, he needed momentum, and he stepped out to do that. I was able to achieve in such a splendid manner. Dia Narayan finds the gap and just smashes this one through covers. No chance at all for the fielder there inside the circle. And it scorches the turf on its way to the fence. Well, Bangladesh were only managed 
four falls in their innings and they're not even out of the power play and the West Indies have found four falls already. Don't normally see a leave in T20 cricket. West Indies, 2020, 22 for one. The Sri Lankan contingent are in the house as well as Razak continues. And again, he's short outside off stump. They've just pulled that deep man in from deep point. And uh, Razak has given a gift to Smith. Smart work by Dwayne Smith. He just was patient, just waited for a delivery like this. Was on the front foot, but still had enough time to rock onto the back foot and play that one. Shifted his weight. And then finds a gap. This is much better comeback delivery from Abdul Razak. That's the length he has to bowl to. Especially the kind of feel he has set for the right-hand batter. Not much footwork here from uh, Smith. Playing from the oh. crease, the quicker one, the straighter one, the arm ball. Crafty bowling from Razak. Smith going for the sweep shot. Good piece of fielding there, square leg. Some big stars coming up your way. Brett Lee, Shane Watson. And they look quite fit. It should be an interesting battle here. And they play against the Sri Lanka legends. And that's Nathan Reardon out the back there. Shane Watson and Cameron White for Test for Australia and uh, a lot of white ball cricket. No, 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 no. And I Razak just finding his way back into this over. Boundary off the first ball, and only one off the next four balls. Into the fifth over, West Indies, 27 for one. Yeah, 27 for one, the West Indies legends after five overs. And going along nicely. Small target that they're chasing. Don't need to be too adventurous in this chase. Mohamed Sharif, 23 matches in his T20 career. A little bit of swing there. A from the bowler and B from Smith. The swing and a miss from Smith, but just a little bit of shape there as well. I was wondering how long we'd have to wait for the fireworks. Very sedate start by the West Indians. We're normally seeing them, regardless of what format and where, going big. 
Well, that's nicely timed. That will race to the fence. And you're right, it's, it's been a sedate start, not only from Wesley and especially from Smith, because generally such an aggressive batter always tries to put pressure on the bowling. Have a look at this, just timed it beautifully. Sometimes the basic thing, cricket, don't change. Just being still at the crease, that point of delivery, and then reacting to what you see. Not a lot of foot movement, doesn't need it. Well, that one nearly went underground. Yeah, a little change of pace there. As you can see, no real bounce. Back of the hand delivery, no real bounce. Yeah, and Smith could laugh about it. Yeah, swing and a miss. But well, they'll pick up a bye. Awkward bounce there for the keeper. Yeah, he's getting frustrated, isn't he? He wants to get going. He wants to get this done as soon as possible. And one thing we, we noticed even yesterday's match, there wasn't a lot of pace and bounce. And especially the second innings, the spinners were effective. The carry was poor. That so means that the batters have to make all of the pace. And that's why you saw Wayne Smith just coming out and trying to, to meet it. Fortunately, he didn't quite do that, but they managed to get a bye. Well, that's good feeling. Hello, Kapali at point. Not only did he, did he cover the ground well, he made sure that he got his hands in the right position as he, as he dived. Nicely played for no run. End of the sixth over, it's 32 for one. Match number two of the Road Safety World Series 2022. Well, that's the story of the game so far. Bangladesh Legends scored 98. West Indies Legends going along nicely. 32 for one. Smith batting on 20 of 19. He's just looked a little antsy towards the last couple of overs. Wants to get along. Wants to put his foot on the pedal. As long as he stays within the speed limit. See, now, that's why you know I'm a fan. That's why you know I'm a fan, Lisa. Just the way you sort of slid that in right in, in the flow of conversations. Beautiful. Yep, wear your seatbelt and stay within the speed limit. A good shot in the end. A little bit quicker at that time by Razak. Can you believe that he's 40? He's still getting through nice and easy. You know, I'll tell you what, I, there's, I, I played with, with left-arm spinner football strategy. He hasn't aged. He must be he must be about 50, 55 right now, but he hasn't aged. Uh, again, he's one of those who's always sort of looked after himself well in terms of what he eats, his training. And I'm pretty sure if you gave him a ball right now... Yeah! Put the ball right now. He 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 pitch it on a penny. Good 
Yeah, and that's what he's been able to do as well. Theme position there, you can see. Just hitting the leather and going on with the arm. Sweep this time. And the gap found as well. Smith's just starting to get into his work. Yeah, and this is one of his favourite shots, the sweep shot. Plays that really well, does Smith. We've seen that in the past. He's really strong in that region. Played it beautifully. Rolled his wrist as as he played that shot, went all along the carpet. You know, good delivery, the arm ball. You in the seventh, 40 for one. Over. And on the seventh over, the West Indies, the Jims are at 40 for one. setting here in Kanpur. Beautiful sight. We've got a substitute on because we Razak has gone off. Alamgir Kabir, the twelfth man. He's on the field now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, a little bit of indecision out there. In the inning so far, West Indies didn't have a huge total to actually chase down. Wayne Smith has taken his time really, but you can get a sense that he's starting to go. That was the first wicket. Pretty simple one for the umpire. Since then, these two have built a partnership 26 of 29 deliveries. Smith just starting to loosen the shackles. Well, he hasn't timed that well at the turn of the bat, but it falls safely. Well, for most players, I'd say it's a good thing that he didn't time it well because, but with Smith, you know, if he times it well, it's out of the park. So, he's got the timing completely wrong over there. He's got an absolute dead spot of the bat. Normally when players miss time it, they get caught on the boundary. Yeah, yeah. So talking about players doing injuries if they're going to do the cheeky singles, one thing that you can expect with the West Indian players, they can flick from gear one to five pretty quickly. Yeah, and I think again, they've been blessed with such good genes. Powerful athletes. Yeah, just a couple of strides and and they're across. Boy, he struck that beautifully, hasn't he? Yeah, don't bother running for that. Umpire Dubé raises his arms aloft. The beautiful shot for six. Yeah, it was in such good position. Dwayne Smith, and he, he gave the Australians who were waiting for the next game a bit of fielding practice as well. Came off the bat like an absolute rocket. That will make him feel a little bit happier with how things are going. Yeah, but again, that's... That's an area and that's a shot that he plays really well. Yeah, extremely strong with the horizontal bat shot to Smith. Whether it's against the spinners or the medium paces. That's a beautiful, beautiful sight, the Green Park here in Kanpur.
And there's that cheeky single once again. End of the eight, it's 50 for one. Yeah, 50 for one, West Indies. Eight overs done so far. The run rate at the moment, 6.25 required, just a shade over four. But what's ominous for the Bangladesh team is that Smith has started to strike it quite well. Six fours and a six in his inning so far. Abul Hassan, 51 wickets to his name, strike rate of 17.85. Ah, starts off with a slower one. It's clever bowling. Yeah, he got him as well, didn't it? Really surprised him. Out the back of the hand, seam position was good. He was ready in position and then had to count about 20 before the ball came to him. That's the soft hands. Actually, it's rumoured that Dwayne Smith was actually spotted by Viv Richards at a young age. Not a bad person to pick out some talent. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I think if, if some, someone like Sir Viv endorses your talent, that should give you a lot of confidence. Thinking, listen, hang on a minute. If so, if things I'm, I'm talented and I've got a bit in me, now it's my duty to sort of make, make the most of the potential and talent that I've got. Oh, good delivery. It's been an excellent over so far. Son, it's really good actually. Take some skill to be able to recall all of your variations, but then to be able to deliver it that's another thing. What you expect from players that are playing day in, day out, and he's been able to do it in his first over. Another variation. And this has been a top class over. It's not just the fact that he's bowled four dot balls, but just the quality of the deliveries that he's bowled. Again, just going over the off stump, completely out box Smith over then. You know, we were just talking about the fact that Smith is just getting his groove on. It's been a really high quality over. He's just not feeding him anything, is he? He's not feeding him that pace. That I think we've seen only one feed on delivery so far in this over. Where, where does he go? Does he go pace again? Yeah, let's take a look at his first three deliveries. Yeah, out the back of the hand. Play gently. Dwayne Smith. This one, he was out in front of his pad and then goes quick and just hurried him up. That's clever bowling. And unfortunately for Bangladesh, he didn't manage to get the ball through that bat and pad gap. Wasn't far off. Yeah, dot to end what has been an excellent over. Yeah, nine overs gone, 51 on the board. West India lost one wicket. Remember, always wear helmets and seatbelts whenever you're traveling. 
And yep. It's that time of the day, that time of the innings. Where the umpire will point to the watch and tell us it's a Seattle Tire strategic timeout. That's the end of the Seattle Tire strategic timeout. Yeah, Smith and Dale Narayan at the crease. What? We've got Erin down there. Who have you got, Erin? We've got a road safety world series debutant, Marlon Black, alongside me today. You bowled beautifully for your first game. You got one for 11 off your two overs. How's the body feeling? Oh, it's all in auto, right? It's all, I'm, just, I'm very, very surprised, you know, but I'm feeling all right. I feel bad because I just dragged you out of a rub to do this interview, so I'm very sorry. But let's talk about the fact that it's your very first time in India. How is that possible? It's amazing. I know. I've played for a long time on my first trip to India, and I'm loving it. It's really, really nice. Oh, no, it's absolutely incredible. It's such a wonderful country, and this is such an amazing series. Well, what made you want to be a part of the Road Safety World Series? Oh, just, just um, the thought, you know, I mean, like, it's, it's inviting, it's lovely, you know, that the people get enjoy it and it's, it's spreading a positive word as well. What are you most looking forward to about being in India for the first time as well? Um, playing against some of the players that I haven't played against and some that I played against and with as well. How about bowling to Sachin Tendulkar? What do you do about that? <laughs> I, bowl again, I, I played against him in Trinidad, so I'm looking to try and get him out this time, go one step better. <laughs> Sounds fantastic. Well, it's so great to have you part of the competition. I'll let you get back to your rub and welcome to India. Oh, thanks very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Marlon. Yeah, start of the 10th over. What's the 10th over going to bring for us? A couple of boundaries, a wicket. Oh, a good slow delivery. You know what Bangladesh will be hoping for? Three strikes and you're out. <laughs> Against Dwayne Smith. He's swinging hard now. He just hasn't been able to find too many in the middle. Dola Mahmood. First time we're seeing him with the ball tonight. Well, that's strike two. One more and he's gone, right? Yeah, that's what they should be hoping. But again, a huge swing from from Smith. But I think, I think as a batter and as, as a batting, you've got to be thinking, look, this is a target that we should really chase down easily. And you don't want to be out there in the heat. So you can sense and see what Smith's trying to do. Yeah, there you go. This one was slightly easier on his pads. In the slot for him to play one of his favorite shots. And he picks up four. Yeah, he just helped it on its way, didn't he? It was pace on. The previous deliveries was pace off. But the problem was it, the line was poor. It was on the pads. And all he had to do was get on the inside line. And with fine leg up, beat that fielder and did it comfortably. That kind of just lets the pressure off slightly for the Bangladesh side. To be honest, it's been an excellent bowling effort because they've kept them under six runs and over so far. Uh, you're right, because sometimes when you're chasing a low score, yeah. you see the batters and the batting unit play with a lot more freedom. and. And they go at a real good run rate, but the Bangladeshi bowlers have done really well. Kept them below five, run rate at the moment 5.79. They need another 43 from 62. The one department from a bowling unit point of view where you feel that they could have done a little bit better was to maybe pick up a few more wickets. Put a little bit more pressure on, on the West Indies team. 
Yeah, because these guys are out in the middle for the first time after a, a bit of a break. The pressure does funny things. Yeah, just as we were talking about picking up wickets, well, they've picked up one. Deona Ryan trying to play the pull shot. Got the top edge. And an easy catch. A short fine leg. Glad to see Mahmood actually banging the ball in. The short deliveries that we've seen are probably erred in length and not meant. So he got the right height, the height that troubled Leon Narayan, who hasn't spent a lot of time out there in the middle facing deliveries. He goes for eight, 56 for two. Last one of the tenth coming up. Well, the captain has come out to bat, Kirk Edwards. The well, captain of the crease now for the West Indies, Kirk Edwards. Last ball of the 10 coming up. Nicely played. And they'll get a couple big effort there on the third man fence. Get the feeling that he saved two for his team. End of the 10, 58 for two. who's out there as the substitute fielder has done extremely well. <laughs> I guess that's his job, isn't it? I think he's done a very good job. 58 for two. Smith now seems to be the one that will want to try and finish it early. Brad Hogg has slid in next to me. What do you think of the last wicket? Yeah, Noreen, just a little bit too slow on him. He had to wait a little bit extra and uh, change the shot. You're probably not expecting the short delivery in this particular competition. Old fast bowlers been able to bend the back and test the nostrils. And you'd expect the West Indian player, especially with the pace that they uh, generally face in the arena, to uh, take full of toll of that type of bowling. Clever. Really clever from the skipper. Just opened the face nicely, used the pace that was given by Hassan to find his first boundary. about being aware, knowing where the field is. It's a bit like driving. You've got to be aware of the dangers that are on the road. Well, I'm aware that third has now gone back because of that shot. 
And Hassan just zeroes in a little bit closer to those stumps. Well, a lot of these players haven't played a lot of T20 cricket. And this is their opportunity to do so. When they did get the opportunity, it was probably when T20 cricket was starting. And it's just trying to formulate a way to play it. And the West Indies were the first. Beautiful piece of bowling there from Hassan. The first team to really be aggressive and have a formula to put pressure on the opposition. And that was trying to find as many boundaries as they possibly could. But they weren't worried about dots or ones because they knew they had the power and that extra power that other teams don't have to be able to muscle the ball over the fence or to the fence through that gap. And we saw that with, or we've seen that with Dwayne Smith as well. Uh, not too many, you know, just piercing the gaps, but the power, the way that that ball motors to the boundary, it just shows the sheer power that the West Indies do have. had he's kind of had two careers for the West Indies kind of burst onto the scene and I thought great we found a number three batter that could have a bit of presence out there and then inconsistent performances and injury scares kind of kept him out of the limelight and then he kind of came back fought his way back in 2013 and then the next generation of the West Indies stars put their hand up as well he has an opportunity now to lead this West Indian side. Smith carves it over point. That's what we're used to seeing from him. Big over, 10 runs from it, 68 for two. Well, the West Indies legends just need 31 runs off 54 deliveries. And the issue for Bangladesh is that Dwayne Smith is starting to motor 47 off 40. Found the boundary and gone over it nine times in total. Pali, well, his leg spin. No, no, you're stuck. Not a bad leg spinner either. Might have uh, wanted to use him a little earlier, especially what we saw last night in the Indians. He's honed in on the stumps, hasn't he? I like the parley. <laughs> Edwards wants two. Smith says, no, thank you. Last ball, last over. Too much width, too short. And for a player who loves to free his arms, that's exactly what he wants. He was able to put it away very, very comfortably. Poor delivery. And that's Smith's half century. Off 41 deliveries, striking it at 124. Dwayne Smith just continues his form from last year. It's quite hard to bowl to Smith as a spinner. He doesn't use his feet, but he's got that power to sweep. And then if you're slightly short, he's got the power off the back foot as well. Oh, you just can't err off that good length against him. Yeah! And here's an opportunity. Sometimes you just sweep too many times. And Alok Kapali had been zeroing in on the stumps in his first over and gets the big wicket of Smith. The 
ball before it was a little fuller and it was easier for Smith to sweep but this slightly shorter on that good length Smith couldn't go back to it and he wasn't really in control of the sweep shot his weight was slightly back and uh, Harley has got his wicket Smith 51 the only batsman tonight to score 50 and the West Indies 73 for three Height comes to the crease after the dismissal of Smith. Ah, 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 Beautiful day. wronging from Kapali. And the umpires just don't want to put their fingers up for the uh, leg spin. Was that the wrong one? Ah. Did it come in? Where was the impact? Was it outside off stump? Not at all. On the stumps. And in front, very harsh. I thought it would have gone on to hit the stumps. Straight onto the pads. What do you think, Brad? Been a leg spinner, that is out. Wait. Bangladesh getting a wicket that over. West Indies 73 for three. Well, the difference in this game is Smith out the top of the order. He's the only one that's really dominated with the bat. 51 runs. And he's put West Indies in a commanding position. Edward T played a wonderful innings last year against Bangladesh to help West Indies beat them in that particular year. Being the captain this year, it's got to bring them home now. The mood comes into the attack. The captain, Kirk Edwards, he has a formidable record, especially against India in the Test match. Got a hundred in his debut in the fourth innings of the match against India. But West Indies here, they're coasting um, to the first victory in the second edition of the Road Safety Week Series, World Series, beg your pardon. 73 for three. It's Dwayne Smith who has done a huge damage to Bangladesh. Splendid knock from him. It was all power and a lot of finesse at this time. Again, trying to play the sweep shot, missed it completely and was found plumb in front of the wicket. And good decision by the umpire, Alok Kapali finally manages to get that wicket off Dwayne Smith. You just can't afford that when you're only uh, got 26 runs to defend. Interesting fielding out in the deep, but you're talking about Edwards. He followed that 100 up against India with 100 against Bangladesh. Only a couple of test matches later. That was 121. That was in 2011. 
will have to check for the boundary. It was a good effort by the fielder at uh, fine leg. He had to run to his right and then dive to uh, stop that, that ball. Let's have a closer look at this. Did it touch the skirting? Can't make out from here. We need to get a better angle. And this can show us a better way whether it hit the skirting or not. I think he's able to save it. Save some runs here for his side. Good work. Four leg buys. The ball didn't touch the rope, but I think while the ball is uh, being kept in by the fieldsman, it was touching the body as the foot touched the rope. So that's probably why it's been given poor. I got that one completely wrong. I need to get my my eyesight checked, Brad. I thought I was able to save at least two runs for a side. But yes, you're right. I think the, the foot touched the skirting while he was trying to get the ball inside the boundary. <laughs> Sabbath, that just reminds me of everyone driving out there. Hot day, been in the car for a couple of hours. Don't drive tired because that's when you start making mistakes. Pull over, have a rest. You're also equally important to wear the rear seat belt. And if you are on a two-wheeler, then the rider and the pillion, both of, both of them need to wear the helmet. And I hope all, all the viewers who are watching this uh, Road Safety World Series, they please try and ensure that that's a strong message from all of us, from the Combox and from the entire organizational committee here and the players who are participating in this tournament. It's very important to make sure that you are safe on the bike. I remember being over in Bali. I had my wife on the back of the, uh, the bike, the scooter, and a helmet came out under a car and... I just thought, right, at home when you're driving the car and you, a roo jumps out, you just go through it. You don't try and swerve because that's when you get in trouble. And uh, I just took the helmet on and luckily it landed on a certain place where it just flicked off the wheel. So I was very lucky to uh, get away with that. It can happen at any unforeseen moment. That's why you've got to keep awareness. Just like the uh, West Indians here, not being aware of what's going on and that's what happens if you don't indicate before changing directions you can have a little bit of a upset like that so it is edwards who wanted to complete that run he wanted to come towards the strikers end. a smart walk in the deep by the fielder at deep square leg goes for a single there's an overthrow and he wanted to take the second run there was hardly any communication he ran halfway down then had to come back and that gave enough time for the bowler and the fielder standing because who was at deep square leg very smart in uh, throwing at the bowler's end and not at the wicket keeper's end so intelligent stuff from the outfielder now that's the way that's the way under the wicket falls is done zahayat gone for one west indies 79-4 Perkins comes to the crease after uh, that dismissal, but it's Edwards on strike. And no run to finish the over. 79 for four, the West Indies. Remember, I think. 
A bit like the Bangladesh uh, batting card, not looking too good for the majority of the batsmen. Sacks a one, and that's Smith with the 50 on the board. Yeah, Smith, what a wonderful innings just early on. First couple of balls he faced, just easy picking through that point region. He loved the offside. Mixed up with a few sweeps as well. Pull shot. Just showing his array of shots. Wonderful knock from Smith. Powerful batter. Did you ever come across Smith? I'll come to this after that ball. Come across Smith through the IPL, through your time in that, uh, that era? Watched him play, that's all, and has played some important innings for um, different franchises that he has participated for. As he's had a fabulous IPL career, and extremely handy, and uh, even during auctions, he was pretty well sought after uh, player. Well, because the kind of power he yields, and we saw that in today's innings, relishes to play um, square off the surface on the offside, and then the slog sweep, then the regular sweep. And then it can really hit the pace bowlers down the down the wicket. Very cheeky, extremely deft here from Kirk Edwards. And it races to the fence. So they're inching closer. And quite comfortably, the West Indies legends. When you're bowling a little quick with the leg spin and you're slightly full, you just use that pace and use the angles as Edwards has there. It's so good that although you're playing this Legends tournament, but once you get in, you can exhibit the kind of skills you've shown while you're active. And that's what we've seen here, not only from Dwayne Smith, but to some extent even from Edwards. Those, um, those quick, little, quick little shots down the leg side, Dwayne Smith with his power, Kirk Edwards with his footwork, and trying to play everything with the turn on the on side. Ah! Loud appeal down the leg side. Again, as a leg spinner, I'd like to have a look, little closer look at that. Oh, that's definitely hitting leg stump. This is so expected from you, Brad. Come on. <laughs> Give the batter some break. <laughs> I'm not worried about the batter. I'm worried about Bangladesh. I'm trying to give them a break as that's 87 for four. Sabra, I'm just looking at uh, Edwards' career. He really came onto the scene and just dominated in 2011. But just after that, when it got into 2012, he had a run of low scores, then a couple of innings of 50, then another run of low scores. It's, it'll be just quite interesting to see what went through his mind through that particular period. Did he, was he overconfident or did something happen in his career where he just lost that confidence that he had? You know, when you, when you start your career, you're so excited, then all of a sudden, that pressure of expectation after a couple of good performances just uh, starts to get in the mind. That little bird sits on the shoulder and starts to ask you questions. It also happens, Brad, to sides that are not doing well. If you have a very strong and a very potent winning combination, then you tend to carry players whom you, you are sure about their talent and their skill. And it has happened not only with Kirk Edwards, but, but so many players from, from the West Indian side in that era when West Indies were struggling. Although having said that, even now in test matches, they are struggling. So the selectors and the team management, they tend to lose patience, they try out far too many players. You are in any case not enriched with that kind of talent. And it really does, does not help young players um, to grow. 
because they need that kind of guidance and monitoring from the team management and the senior players. But if you put so much of pressure on youngsters who's coming through the system, then invariably you, they tend to lose out, they possibly can't handle those kind of challenges and the pressure. I think it's important for um, the selectors and the team management to have that kind of conducive environment that allows young players like Kirk Edwards to grow. And I know you're right, he started off in such an amazing manner and they play in different conditions, you're bound to, um, to fail but does not mean that you, you have lost out on, on your skill. That's the time when you need adequate support from the team management and the selectors. His performances in India weren't too bad either. There were a couple of uh, handy scores there as well, where a lot of players that start their career out really struggle in these conditions. And I know some of the legends from Australia struggled when they first came here, and it took them a long time to adjust to those conditions. And there was a period of time where we were sending young players over to adjust to these conditions, get accustomed to these conditions, so that we're going to be more competitive down the track. You know, that's it's so important to have uh, some kind of a process that allows such players to prosper. And it's so wonderful to see this um, this air tours taking place now. Uh, the India and Australia have got a rich tradition of having these exchange India air tours. Uh, India A and Australia air tours. Um, same is happening now with New Zealand A side. And on a regular basis, the India A side plays against the Sri Lankan A side. And it really helps young cricketers to come through that kind of uh, atmosphere and, uh, and environment. And then it allows the national selectors to have a closer look at them. West Indies, unfortunately, due to a number of reasons, they don't have um, something like that currently. I do remember about four or five years back, the West Indies A side traveled to, to India and they had some exciting players. Kirk Edwards, if I remember correctly, was part of that system. And they had some, some excellent talented cricketers. But for some odd reason, West Indian Cricket Board has stopped that. It's important that we do find a way that we are growing the game around the world and keeping everyone competitive. There's no point having one-sided events, one-sided series. There's one-sided game here, West Indies, 94 for four. Well, it's the evening here in Camp Port and we're at Green Park and normally we can see the Ganges over the back there, but uh, now it's dark, we can't see the flow of the water and the fly of runs are going well, coming easily for the West Indies as they only need five off 30 to finish this game off as Kapali holds some handy leg spin just hasn't been able to get Bangladesh back into this contest a lot of thinking to do for Bangladesh when they come out to play the next game they need to get the batting right yeah yeah uh, smashes this one has it cleared the fence yes it has a desperate effort at mid-wicket from the fielder there. And that's the winning run for West Indies. They won the first game against Bangladesh. With a lot of overs and balls to spare. They win this game quite easily by six wickets. It's the captain who remains right till the end. Healthy partnership between him and the wicketkeeper Perkins. 22 of 15. An excellent work here by the West Indian side. Short delivery. Perkins latches on to this one very quickly and smashes this one towards the mid-wicket fence and it sails over the fielder at deep mid-wicket. And the winning runs comes off the blade from uh, the wicket-keeper batter Perkins. It's a good performance from the West Indies. They bowl well, they set the game up early and Smith 
was sensational with his 51 and the captain carried it home. Edwards with his 22 off 19. And Perkins wanted to get in the act as well with a six off the final ball. Beautiful shot here from Perkins. He just sensed that he just wanted to finish it quickly. Didn't even look out the fielder who could have caught that out in the deep. Just came in a little too early and then had to work his way back. Perkins got away with it. West Indies will be very happy with their performance. Powell there in front. His pace bowling up front. Set the game up for the West Indies. Very economical. But Smith, 51 out the top. Took the game away from Bangladesh. Edwards chipped in with 22 off 19. Carried his bat. And Perkins, 9 off 6. The other four batsmen or three batsmen there that got out seem to struggle and that's something the West Indies have to work on moving forward. Bangladesh didn't have many runs to play with although they did try their best at halfway state they were able to tie down the West Indian batters but then after that it was quite easy for West Indies. Dwayne Smith and Kirk Edwards in the end as a captain played a responsible knock. They relied heavily on their spinners. That is Kapali who picked up a wicket. Mahmood was quite economical. Shahadat bowled two overs, the captain did not get any wickets, but they were always under pressure because they had only 99 to defend. Oh, we just look at that. Santoki up the top, he really uh, got assistance out the other end from Powell, and that helped him get his three wickets. Uh, the spin of the West Indies was just too much for Bangladesh, and then when Smith came out, he looked in fine form. He looks as though he's still fit and still playing a lot of cricket because. That 51 off 42 was very authoritative, and the West Indies have won by six wickets. Oh, the West Indies just came out, and straight from the start, it was authoritative batting from Smith. Two cut shots in the first three balls through that point region. Muhammad, a little bit of uh, fortune there, then tried to take the spin off Razak and uh, paid the price by not connecting an easy LBW there. And Unarine, he wanted to get on the act. And Smith just powered that point region early on in his innings. Oh, just too wide to him, giving him a lot of gifts. And he also favoured the leg side when those opportunities came. So Dwayne Smith was in splendid form in today's run chase. Bangladesh bowlers, they were able to pick up some wickets. They did try the best. Dwayne Smith in such this kind of form, very difficult to stop. And that was a sweep shot against Alok Lok Lokpali. That was quite a good knock from him. And then he tried too many times to play the sweep shot. Finally, it is Kapali who got that wicket. And then with the departure of um, Dwayne Smith, it is the captain Kirk Edwards who came to the fore. That was again a terrible communication between the two. And Hyatt. He yeah. was kind of barbecued, and this is the way. West Indian legends, they came on top. Superb six by Perkins. Welcome to the prize presentation of the SkyExchange.net Road Safety World Series. Firstly, we would like to thank Uttar Pradesh Cricket Association, the Kampur Police and the administrators for making this match possible. We would also like to thank our sponsors, and there's plenty of them for their support. SkyExchange.net, Ease My Trip, Sat Sport News, See It Tyres, Cycle Pure Agabatis, Kazaria Tiles, Royal Stag, Dream 11, Vimal Alaichi, Tiger Exchange and AVR News. In the presentation party, we have with us Mr. Karan Bindi Bindra representing the Sat Sports News, Mrs. Renu Pitti representing Ease My Trip and Ms. Chanchal representing Skyexchange.net. 
I'd like to ask Mr. Karan Bindra to present the Sat Sports News Best All Rounder, a trophy and a cheque of 50,000 rupees to Darren Powell for none for four off three. Very economical bowling. It certainly made it very hard for the Bangladesh batters to really get off the mark and put some pressure on the West Indian side. I'd now like to ask Renu Pitti to present the Ease My Trip Most Valuable Player, a trophy and a cheque of 50,000 rupees to Krishmas Santoki, three for seven. Exceptional figures, was able to start off the wickets and then finished off with a couple of wickets at the end. Very economical and was able to pick up important wickets throughout the innings. And the final presentation uh, is uh, I'd like to ask Miss Chanchal to present the skyexchange.net player of the match trophy and check of one lakh to Darren Powell again for his wonderful bowling economical made it really difficult as I mentioned and I'll ask Darren to come over Darren, well done on your performance. How did it feel being out there? Oh, um, it's been a while I haven't played in this kind of atmosphere. It felt good, um, just warm, you know. Um, I've been rusty and it, it came out well for me today. It's a good start for the West Indian side. A number of your players flew in really quite late and a big travel. How do you think the body's going to cope in recovering? Well, hopefully... Um, we can recover fast. Um, I'm feeling a bit sore at the moment, but hopefully over the next day or two, I could get back in the same rhythm and look forward for better performances. I must commend the guys for holding up after that long travel and um, getting to the game. The guys came in even last night and they were on the field today. So it's been good for us and um, hopefully our captain Brian will be here soon and we all could move as a bunch together and make this thing a success. What is it like to be part of this tournament? Obviously, road safety is the, probably the big message, but also to kind of come out and be in West Indian colours again. Well, it feels, it feels very good um, to be in West Indian colours, but at the same time, we are promoting something worthwhile. Um, over the years, you have accidents and stuff like that going around, and it hurt a lot of families. But um, coming out here and, and showcase our talent to promote this and make sure that people understand that not only on, on, on the road um, we need safety, but also on, on the field of play. So I am very pleased and, and happy to be here at this event and looking forward for better days ahead. Well done on your performance today. Thank you. Well, that concludes the post-match presentation. Thanks very much, Lisa. Bangladesh only put 98 on the board and Powell not on the summary, but his performance up front set the tone for the West Indies to win this game. And Smith, with his batting 51 off 42 deliveries, just took the game away from Bangladesh. And West Indies, easy winners by six wickets. Coming up shortly, it's the second match of the evening, and that will be in about half an hour to an hour's time. Sri Lanka taking on the Australian legends on match three here at Green Park, Campbell. We'll see you soon.